Welcome to Rock Counting Family Adventures. Come follow my family as we trek across the country collecting crystals, fossils, and minerals. We'll learn the history of the sites we visit and have a little fun along the way. We hope you enjoyed this episode and join us again soon. All right, arriving at the Prost Farm, we're going to use the drone to get an overview of the area. Here in the front is the garden, and that's where we were going to be digging this weekend. Uh, the weekend we showed up, there was also a lot of other club members present from a local club. Um, taking a look at this area off to the left behind that second barn uh, is an area that people go digging, and uh, we'll take a look at that later. Uh, here, Sebastian is going to show proper shoveling technique. Your tongue must be out for the shovel to work properly. I want everybody to remember that. <laughs> um, some of the equipment that we're using here, um, obviously shovels. Screens are going to be real important. We used a quarter inch and an eighth inch screen. Um, first digging our hole, then placing the screen over the hole and moving the dirt back into the screens and sifting it into the hole so that we're filling our holes back in, which is good rock hem technique. Uh, an etiquette and uh, also moving the dirt one less time which will help save your back and speed things up so other thing I would recommend um, some knee pads or uh, a cushion to sit on uh, we ended up spending about four hours here uh, maybe a little bit more so it keeps your pants dry, um, keeps your knees and your butt more comfortable so that you can make it a little longer haul. Um, most of the corundum that we found while we were here, we found simply by moving it through the screen, getting rid of the dirt, and you could see it on top. A lot of the little pebbles um, covered in clay and mud, we did uh, go ahead and, and put into a bucket so that we could take them home and wash them at leisure um, and look for the smaller pieces. and. We probably found about half as many uh, smaller pieces of corundum after we got home, which was simply nice to, to be able to do something on a day where winter decided to kick back in. The day we were here, it was a little bit of a spring intermission to, to our winter. So the following weekend, we had snow yet again. So that's about it. We're going to go ahead and uh, play some background music while we speed this up. Um, and then we will uh, we'll take a look at some other areas. And at the end of the video, we'll take a look at the, uh, the things that we found. Hope you all enjoy and just stick with us. This is getting ready to, to move into high speed.
This is the Prost Farm again off to the left behind that barn is this area here that we've been filming. Um, this is where people go and, and typically look for the corundum during the year. Uh, the garden area was a spot that had been tilled in the fall. We had heard good reports that a lot of stuff was being found. Um, so we went that direction. But I did want to take a look at, at what other people were doing other times of the year. What I found was um, both surprising and a bit depressing. Uh, most of the holes back here, they start shallow behind the barn, two to three feet down. It looks like where people were finding things. The further back you get, um, the corundum tends to be running deeper, and people have decided to dig 10-foot holes, which is not a bad thing, but then they undercut the area, place the, uh, the dirt they're digging out of the holes back up on top of the overburden that they've already undercut, making it extremely dangerous. Um, I wouldn't have kids around this area, and I personally wouldn't crawl down into any of these holes without removing the the overburden. As they've dug down, they've killed the trees in the surrounding area. The roots aren't going to support the soil for much longer. Undercutting it two to four feet sometimes with the, uh, the dirt excavated from the hole thrown back up on top. You really have no idea what somebody's done uh, before you climb down into that hole. So um, area is just potentially a real danger. Um, these holes are still filled with water and ice because it is uh, the middle of winter. So I didn't crawl down in any of them. Um, looking across some of the tailings piles uh, that people have pulled out of you know, their holes, the overburden, there's little bits of quartz and things. So they're probably finding stuff back in here. Um, it's about a four acre area um, that people have been digging and it looks like the further back you go, the newer the holes are. But none of it looked incredibly safe, and on this wintry day, none of it looked real appealing at all. our holes were all filled back in and there was no real undercutting here. Some of the finds that we uh, we found out at the Prost Farm, this is a twin corundum um, and then this is a two-tone corundum with a, a dark center to it. Those are both kind of unique. Some of the other stuff, after we got the gravels home, a lot of the smaller pieces is what we found that was left in the gravels.